Santos Bonacci has the unparalleled ability to shower others with eloquent insults. He truly sets himself apart as a master of verbal profanity. If you haven't seen him practice his craft, click on the link in the YouTube description to see what I'm talking about. In addition to being the leading purveyor of insults on the globe, he issued a monetary challenge to produce a real photograph of the Earth. Okay, so I'm going to offer $10,000. This is a public contract, by the way, so if I back down on this, you can sue me, which I will look forward to. I'm going to offer $10,000 to anyone who can produce a real slash true photograph of the Earth. We're off to a good start. He wants a real photograph of the Earth. That's easy. You need to provide three things. Firstly, the name and the, the date of when that photo was taken. Confirmation and scientific uh, confirmation especially that it is a real photo and not a CGI image like all of these Santa balls you see when you put photo of Earth. These, these are all cartoons. If, if you can't tell that, like Mark Passio. Uh, Mark Passio is a, what I call a globe tard. Um, yeah, here's one of his videos. And he doesn't know that that's a... Freedom man. That's... Freedom man, he calls himself. He doesn't know that that's a cartoon. Oh, little Santos is easily distracted. Squirrel! In the middle of his epic challenge, he distracts himself to talk about some other wackadoodle, Mark Passio, and shows his intro animation. Santos imagines that normal people think that animation is real, but they don't. Before he distracted himself, he did manage to get two of his three criteria out. The name and date of the photograph and scientific confirmation that the photograph is not a computer-generated image. Excellent. This is going to be super easy. What's the third criteria? So the challenge is the third thing you would have to be able to uh, prove conclusively, scientifically, in a court of law and um, in every way possible, scientifically tested, that that is a real photo. So $10,000 up for grabs. I'm making a public contract here. So if I renege on the contract because you didn't provide a real photo, which you won't, then come and sue me and we'll take it to court. And I'll make sure it goes to the Supreme Court. I'll make sure it goes to the highest court in the universe and we'll settle it once and for all. Take me on, globe tards. Okay, I got it. Santos will automatically reject everything. He's said it already. To get anything, you have to sue him in court. The Supreme Court. The highest court in the universe. In the universe. Since he lives in Mexico, that would be the Mexican Supreme Court. That's right, Oompa Loompa Bonacci has declared that the Mexican Supreme Court is the highest court in the universe. A very quaint of him. Well, the challenge does have very clear acceptance criteria. A real slash true photograph of the Earth. A real photograph of the Earth. The name and the, the date of when that photo was taken. Name and date of the photograph and... Confirmation and scientific uh, confirmation especially that it is a real photo and not a CGI image. Scientific confirmation that the photograph is not a computer-generated image. It's so easy to complete the challenge, so I'll just do it anyway. Will he pay up? If I back down on this, you can sue me, which I will look forward to. A video is a sequence of photographs, so any frame from a video is a photograph. I've carefully selected this video. The name of the photographer is... Santos Bonacci. The date is May 2 of 2020. 
as for scientific evidence that it was not computer generated, Santos himself can attest to that. Behind this strange little guy we see a real slash true photograph of the Earth. The Earth. I'll put some arrows in to help Santos know where the Earth is in this photograph. This is exactly what Santos asked for. This is a real slash true photograph of the Earth. In the highest court in the universe, all the judges would quickly agree that this is a real slash true photograph of the Earth, and Santos would absolutely have to attest to it under oath. He would also confirm that this is not a computer-generated image of the Earth. Santos, in case you decide to be honest, for the first time in your life, I'm going to offer $10,000 to anyone who can produce a real slash true photograph of the Earth. I prefer payment by Bitcoin. My address is in the YouTube description. I also accept Cash App, PayPal, or you can just become a $1,000 per month patron on Patreon for 10 months. Again, link in the description. But... We all know this is where Santos will do what all Flat Earthers do with their challenges. Move the goalposts. He might cry that he didn't mean what he said, that he meant something else. $10,000 up for grabs. I'm making a public contract here. But in a contract, it's what's said that matters. Not whatever someone was thinking about. Judges cannot magically decipher someone's hopes and dreams when they output the words of a contract. Judges can only apply the actual words of the contract. In court, I'll make sure it goes to the highest court in the universe. This is a slam dunk. Strike one. But there's another little problem. $10,000 isn't anywhere near enough to bring a case to the Supreme Court. The highest court in the universe. If anyone were to actually sue Little Flurfy Wonder, it would cost more to litigate the case than the prize. Strike two. And one more problem. Santos doesn't have $10,000. He's one step away from being homeless. Even if it cost nothing to sue him, no money would be exchanged. You can't get blood from a stone. Strike three. This illustrates something we all know. All flurf challenges are fake. The long history of flurf challenges goes back to the 1870s when flurf John Hampton lost his challenge to Alfred Wallace. It's actually the second law of flurf. All flurf challenges are fake, no exceptions. Santos, if you ever find the courage to issue a legitimate challenge, you would first put the money in escrow. Then you would carefully write clear, objectively measurable acceptance criteria. Then publish this criteria in a way that cannot be modified. Finally, quite important for your spineless challenge, independent third-party arbitration that doesn't cost more than the award. For a challenge like yours, a panel of professional photographic forensic experts that are not involved in the Flat Earth Globe Earth discussion. Or, Santos, show how cowardly you are by refusing to issue a legitimate challenge. I'm quite certain that Santos will continue the long tradition of fake flurf challenges. He knows the challenge will immediately be won and the money he doesn't even have will go to the winner.